how's it going guys welcome back today we're going to be going to the new park that they just opened up over in uh, la jolla campground it's called luceno bike park so we're going to go check that out with the homies Hi, can I please have a number 21? Alright, so we ran into our first little mishap. Um, I'm actually following some other bikers right now. Uh, I was following what, you know, the GPS was telling me to do. It was telling me to turn right on some weird street. Um, it looked like it was closed off, so we're actually driving down to the uh, actual campground. And hopefully we can get some information here. So yeah, so far, and I have no servers whatsoever right now. I just keep saying redirecting on my phone. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully you find some information down here. All right, so we made it. Uh, it took a little bit of digging to find this place. So you actually try to get into the actual campground. Did the homie Shadow just show up? Our main parking is gonna be, keep following this road okay. up for about a half mile. Okay. You're gonna get it to a steep road. And then on your right hand side, there's gonna be a sign that says splash pad parking. Okay. You're gonna go up there and park in that lot and you ride your bike down here and pick up your pass. Okay. So okay, so for right now is that okay if I get my pass and then yeah, yeah. okay, cool, cool. And the shuttle picks up right here too. Oh okay. Right across this bridge. Alrighty. Hi, right, it looks like this is a little shop slash where you check in. A couple of e-bikes out here. Got Norco. Helmet rentals. we're supposed to park where it says splash pad parking and then right back down and then that's where we get the shuttle finally found the parking pretty open lot over here it's quite a ride to go down there though huh? so it's like not close but gonna get all set up we're still waiting for some of the homies all right here we go we're all set to go it took a while I couldn't find the GoPro and a couple homies are here to say what's up to the guys real quick and then we'll go Johnny brought the common soul what's up Johnny how you doing, Omi? Good. What's up, papi? We're gonna go because I think Shadow has to check in. Okay, bro. Let the boy, yeah? Okay, bro. I guess the Shadow starts at 9, but okay. See? This is our warm up run. Ay, wey! Ay, wey! It's just funny. Man. So it's supposed to be a pretty hot day today. We're we're forecasted to be around the 90s, 95s or so. Nice and toasty. So we're trying to get as many runs as we can before the heat turns up. I don't know if you guys have ever been here before, but you can like run out little tubes and then go all the way down, go to the top. Go all the way down it's pretty fun there's some sketchy stuff if i remember like a couple little drops and stuff like that but i was telling you it's pretty fun now that i know where to park and you know what to bring like you know i can bring a, a tent a grill maybe somewhere put a cooler somewhere down here hide it good thing we didn't wait for you <laughs> <laughs> i know man Shit, too close to you huh <laughs> yeah, thank you. There you go. You have them tight? Let me hit this drop real quick. Personally, that's the way from that, you know, you got the feel. Carlos. What's up, Carlos? What's up, Charlie, nice Charlie. to meet you. Carlos. Johnny. Johnny, nice to meet you, bro. All right, so we're going to climb up a little bit. I guess this is more of the crazier part. Did he say double black or single black? Single, single green black. <laughs> single green black? Single purple? Green. I guess we want to do this first because we want to get the climbing out of the way. <sighs> See you guys at the top. Okay. That climb was not fun at all. Nice and steep. We are live. So it goes. It's first trail. So far, flat. One thing I do know 
I saw a couple videos online that there's a lot of exposure on these trails. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Trail reminds me a lot of my local trail. <laughs> huh? The roller? Not too bad, huh? Nice shadow. Here we go. in a good mood right now, Lee. All right, this is pretty flowy. This reminds me a lot of San Juan. S-J-T. S-J-T. <laughs> oh, shit. This focus out here. See the price. <laughs> Good save, homie. There it goes. Nice. Yeah.
nice berm. Oh shit. You gotta focus on that one. That was sick. No, it's fine. Sharp turn. Loose rocks too. Oh, gotta be careful with us. The rain probably brought him out. Flat turn. Ooh, here we go. We're all pretty much feeling the heat right now. So right now, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this is a soft opening. It was around 35 bucks. Right now, yeah, it's pretty worth it, I think. Just because, you know, it's something new, something fun. So there's a lot of uh, potential here, I think. They said they're gonna actually build a little higher where we got dropped off right now. Uh, they're gonna go about 400 feet higher and build a little more technical trail that connects to all this so we don't have to do that much climbing in the beginning but uh yeah the other trail yeah had some climbing in it like 50 percent climbing nothing crazy it's just this heat really adds to that you know i would definitely recommend if you have an e-bike bring the e-bike first those climbing sections won't be a burden on you on an e-bike until they figure something out on that part because it was kind of extensive especially with this heat the roller! <laughs> but so far, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. And then a plus for me is that it's about 40 minutes away, about the same distance as Greer. But even though here it's uh, 90, 95, there's a nice little gust that cools you down once you're moving so it's not too bad while you're moving now obviously you want to break a little early like in turns like this I'm sure the bikes would act a lot different with more weight how do you want to have the e-bike well for now I'm adjusting pretty good right now I keep right, right? Burp! Burp! I'm done. Heck yeah, we'll be back down, bro. Is it true? Right. See. see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah. Yes, fun. sir. Yeah, I mean, I can drink to you your time. That was kind of like the second one, but uh, without the climb. All right, so that's it for uh, Luceno Park. It was pretty fun. Uh, we're going to go get some grub right now. And maybe we'll talk a little more after all right guys so we're back home now i wanted to go ahead and tell you guys a couple of things that i wish i knew before going out there first things first is when you go on the website and you click on the little directions there uh, if you use that address for some reason it took me to a dead end road so i would suggest to shoot for a little gas station that's right next to the la jolla campground once you get to the little gas station you're going to see a little road that kind of heads down into the main campground area and the reason you want to do that is because the minute i got into that valley i had no cell phone service my gps worked but i just couldn't call anybody couldn't text anybody another thing i would definitely watch out for as you're heading up to the parking area watch out for some dips because like there's some dips that kind of blend in but they're pretty deep i had a couple of friends kind of hit that pretty hard so the shuttles were great we were loading up pretty quick everything was really efficient but one thing i want you guys to make sure to watch out for is your mud flaps they have like little tail gap paddings on the little gates 
but when you put your bike up there sometimes the little mud flaps they get stuck on those little pads and then when you drop the bike down they rip off the little like o-ring holders definitely watch out for your mud flaps when loading and unloading your bike on the shuttle brick if so if you do have an e-bike i would definitely suggest taking that first and then taking your analog second so that way in case you do take that trail where you have to climb out of you have a really good experience the first time and you kind of know what you're getting yourself into when you take your analog bike one thing i did notice that there was no emergency contact kind of if you ever been to big bird you see the numbers everywhere in case anybody gets hurt even if they had a number i had no service out there so if you do go riding alone please let someone know that you're going out there by yourself so i do understand that this bike park is fairly new and there's a lot of things that need to be ironed out so i made a quick little wish list i wish there was a trail that kind of ended up to the main parking area just because when you finish the trails and you want to go get like a cold beverage or you know some food or whatever you kind of have to climb up a little steep little hill it's not very big but when it's 98 degrees it's kind of a pain in the butt so it'd be nice to have a trail that ended there so you can get some cold drinks and food and then ride back down to the shell area another thing i wish they did was open up a little earlier between six to seven on these hot days that way you can come in and get as much rides as you can and then leave like around 12 or 1 once the heat is really blasting it would be nice to have like a nice water refill station where they have nice cold water where you can just go and refill your water bottle and you don't have to go back to your car Another thing that would be nice to have is a nice shaded area, especially at the hub where everybody kind of hangs out and talks. Uh, when we went, it was a super sunny, so you can't really hang out there that much because you just felt the heat just roasting you up. But it would be nice to have some shaded areas to kind of chill out. So I would definitely recommend for you guys to go out there and experience this yourself. I feel like supporting little bike parts like this is essential for us for the sport to keep on growing and to have other spots to ride in. And once again, guys, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.